Hi, welcome to Accounting Play. It's John Gillingham. Today, we're going over this old-fashioned diagram, the accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus equity. That is our fundamental accounting equation. And you'll also know for Accounting Play, that's kind of like our logo because assets always equals liability plus equity. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe below. I have lots of visual tutorials and a game, accounting game in iOS store, accounting play, debits and credits. I'll teach you all this. So the diagram we're going to start with is just the fundamental accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. What's assets? Money, stuff, bling things. What's liabilities? Money you owe. What's equity? Kind of represents the value of everything, right? Um, so if you take your home, for example, that you own, let's say that asset of the home, hold on, let's say that asset of the house, let's say this is worth $100,000 in the Midwest, and the loan is $25,000. $25,000. What's your equity? Well, if you were to sell that, you'd have to repay the loan. So your equity would be $75,000. So assets equals liabilities plus this equity figure of $75,000. Highly simplistic. Now, let's just talk about revenue and expenses. Now, revenue very loosely corresponds to money the business is earning. So, let's say revenue is $10,000 of revenue. And let's say you have expenses. Maybe you have employees you pay. Maybe you have to pay the light bill, all these things. Now, expenses, let's say, is 1000 Your profit or loss, in this case, profit happy profit is now 9,000. So, in the accounting system, we have to somehow represent this stuff. And the way that this stuff gets into the accounting system is through these things called T accounts. Now, a lot of businesses, they understand revenue. Great, the business made 10,000. Yeah, there's this asset that's a $100,000 asset. But what they don't understand is that there's always two fundamental transactions. And that's where the debit and the credit comes in. Now, hold on. Okay, back. Debits and credits, right? This is what it's about. Debits on the left, credits on the right, balance sheet, so tight. This is going to be your, your balance sheet. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. So now in order to get these things, these numbers into the accounting system, this thing invented is called a T account. And in this T account, you have debits, debits on the left, credits on the right, debits on the left, Credits, credits on the right. Debits and credits, debits and credits. Now, what do these debits and credits mean? Cash, for example, when cash comes in, let's say cash came in for this 10000 Real simple. Thanks for the $10,000 for the services I performed. Let's not wonder as to what those were for, but let's just call it. You need two sides to that transaction. Cash came in. Yes, $100,000 of cash, and that's going to show up on your balance sheet as an asset. This here is going to be your balance sheet. So that's going to show up there. So in this case, just have to memorize that cash would increase with the debit. We're going to go into the memorization stuff later, but you just need to know that somehow cash is increasing and Revenue is also increasing. 
this being your income statement. So here we have balance sheet, assets equals liabilities plus equity. That shows sort of where the business is at at any given point in time. We also have this very basic income statement, revenue minus expenses. So we have about this profit of 9,000. This 9,000 will eventually go into the balance sheet, but we'll worry about that later. The point here is now we have this debits and credits thing, and I know you're still confused as to what it is and why it exists. So for every transaction, there's a debit and a credit transaction. Debits always equal the credits. So this monitors how the money is getting into the business and leaving the business. That's really the beauty and the crux of why there are these complicated debits and credits. Because t take your typical business, maybe it's a surfboard rental company. How is that surfboard rental company gonna work? When they get some cash for rental, they're probably gonna just consider it revenue, money in when they file their taxes. That's all they're concerned about, one half of the transaction. But there's two parts of that transaction and you wanna represent that somehow. So debits and credits is how it's technically represented, but let's just think very basic. Cash came into the bank, I wanna show that. I wanna show that on a balance sheet as an asset, a balance sheet financial statement. Somewhere you wanna know the cash came in. And you also wanna say how it came in. Well, the how is revenue. Now, this double entry system, also known as accrual basis accounting for other reasons, has to balance. Debits equals credits, and it tells the story of where the money comes from. If I have an expense, this $1,000, what two things are affected? Cash, very tangibly, on your bank statement goes down, and you also want to represent it as an expense, so you know as to why that money came out the door. So debits and credits are something that's behind the scenes. In your accounting software, there are accountants who don't even know their debits and credits. And is that a problem? Yeah, a little bit, but you can still get a very basic bookkeeping without it because the software is doing a lot of this in the background. Now, when you want to understand are these statements correct or how to adjust these statements, that's when it becomes really, really important to know your debits and credits. Now, in order to start in on the debits and credits, I am a huge fan of the debits and credits game, which makes this whole process a lot more visual. So in the game, there's one T account to start. So equity, increase, decrease in this case, right? It makes this complicated thing, concept, a lot more fun because there's coins and it goes bing. Now, all jokes aside, there's a learning section, which is what I really wanted to show you. So this is the format that these T accounts start to take. Assets, liabilities, equity, revenue, and expense. That's a lot going on there. Going back to the T account, that's all we're trying to memorize this lesson is assets equals liabilities plus equity. Got to memorize it. Ale. A lot of people like ale. Ale. And Revenue minus expense. Revenue minus expense. So we need a way to increase and decrease these things within the accounting framework. Now we also need to, every time we record a transaction, it affects two different things. So we want to say cash came in. And why? Because it was revenue. Cash came out for an expense. Why? Because we bought something for the business, right? That was an expense item debits and credits. So each separate account is going to increase and decrease differently according to the account type, whether it's an asset, a liability, an equity account, revenue account, or an expense account. And this will perform a check and balance to ensure that we have all the transactions. So for now, just know T account. You see it's in the shape of this beautiful T. T account. Debits on the left, credits on the right, balance sheet, so tight. Revenue and expense. So in the next lesson, we're just going to go kind of on a memorization basis, starting with assets, how assets increase and decrease in the accounting system. So 
kind of suspend your belief, sit tight, lay back, get your beverage of choice, and just watch as things increase and decrease according to the rules. This is a rule-based system, just like the alphabet goes A to Z and we don't really know why. Maybe someone does. Comments below and subscribe below. However, in this case, it's just a system and you gotta memorize it. So, next lesson, we're gonna be right on to the asset T account transactions. Assets equals liabilities plus equity, forming your balance sheet, always in balance, income statement, revenue minus expense, and debits on the left, credits on the right, balance sheet so tight. Stay tuned, thank you.